So hi everyone, my name is Carlo Del Mundo. I'm a research engineer at Xnord at AI. So recent innovations in artificial intelligence have enabled machines that can perform and even exceed human level performance for a variety of tasks, such as image classification, machine translation, and even computers that play the ancient game of Go. But many of these um, algorithmic innovations, um, known as deep learning algorithms, require massive computational power found in servers or high-powered desktops with at least one or more GPUs. At XNOR.AI, our mission is to enable the consumer to enjoy the benefits of AI right directly at their fingertips, at their mobile phones, or even at other edge devices like uh, a home security system. The XNOR from XNOR.AI comes from a research paper published by our two co-founders. Uh, the paper is called XNORnet. And the basic idea here is they rethink the way computation is done for these deep neural networks. So instead of using really expensive floating point multiplications and additions, um, we're now using relatively cheaper binary XNOR and binary pop count operations. So there is one piece of advice and wisdom that I'd like to share with the New Tech Seattle community today, and that is to establish really strong engineering practices early in the process and make everyone, including your CEO, accountable for enforcing these processes. So one example is code reviews. In a code review, a programmer checks in his or her revisions to a master repository and assigns a, another team member to review that code. Um, it's now the responsibility of that team member to provide good, honest feedback to ensure that code stays of high quality. Um, so what I'm showing you guys here today is my very first code review with our principal engineer with 20 years of experience. And I felt really good about this code. I felt so good that I was like, Dimitri, it's just going to be, you should probably just squash and merge this right now because I'm a god at programming. I, I was really wrong. It turns out I had so many things wrong with my code that Dimitri says, let's just focus on style for now because there's so many things that's wrong here that we'll focus on substance later. <laughs> the, the code review process is very frustrating, but, and egos are definitely tested, but at the end of the day, um, the team is better for it. Um, I argue that code reviews synchronize the team, multiplying our collective intelligence. It's still a pain point today, um, so our team comprises is consists of uh, researchers and engineers, and we're transitioning our researchers into a more disciplined engineering process. And I'm actually in the process of transitioning two of our uh, researchers right now into our very strong engineering practices. Um, there is one question that I'd like to pose today to the community. Um, so XNOR.AI is in the business of providing AI algorithms to you guys. Um, as the consumer, you guys know of your problems better than I do. Um, so if you could have AI on your phone, what would you do with it? And with that, I'd like to take questions now. Yes, sir. So the question is, um, do, you have other, do you have other applications other than computer vision as your demo? So it turns out that we're looking for the next vertical to pursue. Um, one of them is definitely speech. Um, we're in the process of training models accelerated for speech. So you can have it on device, doing all the comp computations on device, and not relying on the cloud. But um, if you have ideas for future applications, I'd love to hear. Yeah. Yes, sir.
So the, the question is, how did you commercialize the research? What was the process like? Um, so like any good researcher, you oversell your, your paper. Um, as a good engineer, it's our jobs to rip apart the evaluation and do our own um, evaluation. So a lot of the numbers that you see in the research papers may not reflect reality at all. Um, but at the same time, with uh, good engineering, you can actually see that, that the final speed up. So the process took, I want to say, oh, six months of due diligence and, and making sure everything from the paper is accurate. And not only that, but adding our own spin and polish to make sure that it's actually representative of the results. So it, it took a while, lots of engineering. Uh, don't believe a researcher's claims at first, though. One more question. I'll take this last question. So the question is, who are our competitors? Um, so AI is a huge buzzword these days. Um, there's lots of new and exciting AI um, startups. Uh, the one that on the top of my head is called um, AI Poly. So they do a lot of computer vision and classification on iPhones. Um, check their products out, I guess. But um, it's, it's very similar, but um, we are more edge devices, so even down to Raspberry Pis, we can run deep learning on a Raspberry Pi, so, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for snore.ai. Thank you.